Rokaw 209 here. So, we talk about this again. Talk about this all the time. Talk about it probably every day. Probably talk about it more than I talk about my how much I love my kids. 4473s. Fill them out correctly. I give people ample time to correct mistakes. If you screw up, I have a good chance of starting over and helping you out. But once I send this information to the wonderful people at Nix, which is the FBI, people that look at your stuff and tell you whether you can or you can't have a gun, if your information is cor incorrect, guess what? You have a great chance of being denied. You have a great chance of being delayed. So, look over your 4473s, especially in this time with the coronavirus happening because once you get delayed in my state, it's going to take a quite a while for these people to respond, at least six or seven days. If you're lucky, you might get two days, but you never know. It's like fishing. You just throw your line in the water and hope you reel something in. The next thing I want to talk about is when you get those delays you gotta understand back back two three months ago you had you had a possibility of getting delayed unless you have a really shoddy background and they really got to look at you pretty much would get something called the proceed proceed is when they come back and say this person's a law-abiding citizen they can own a firearm and nowadays it's taking them so long because there's nobody in these offices. Everybody's sheltering in place. They've reduced staff to make sure you don't get something called the boogaloo flu. They're doing all this stuff to help prevent the spread of this thing. So guess what? There's not a whole lot of people looking at 4473 information. There's not a whole lot of people sitting at their desk. So hopefully when we send this information out, it lands up in a computer or something. I don't know how they do it on the other side. And somebody looks at it. If not... You have a great, great chance of getting delayed. Delay is not a denial. It's something totally different. Delay means there's just either nobody to look at it or you have a pretty shoddy background and they got to, you know, investigate you a little bit more. That's what I've been told. Whether is it true or not, I don't know. But right now at this time, I've seen a lot of emails that say they're so backed up 300% that they don't have enough people to look at you know, the information sent to them. So, you have a great shot of getting delayed. A lot of places, you can't even buy an ammo or a gun. So, if you're in the state of Indiana, you're in a good place. So, don't get discouraged. Uh, when people get delayed at my shop, I always check their stuff, you know, in a few hours before I go to lunch, when I come back to lunch, and right before I go home. Always do it, because there's other things that I have to do there, Plus, process more 4473s and constantly clean so I don't get the coronavirus. So, there's a lot of other things I got to do. But I do check it often. So, don't get discouraged. It's going to happen. You're going to get delays. Some people, you automatically have to wait 10 days. How does that feel? So, if you live in the state of Indiana, you're still in a good spot. But understand, it's not our fault. All of a sudden, there's not anybody in these offices check the information we send to them so you got to understand that this is a trying time so it's not the person selling you the gun's fault and it, technically it's not even the next people's fault because hell i don't want to get this thing either but yet it's still denying you the right to get your firearm because there's just not enough people in the office to look at your information i get that my advice you should have already bought a gun about two years ago about a year ago about six months ago or you know before this bullshit started happening then you would have been in a good spot and you'd already have your fire but that's no here or there just remember when you get that delay don't freak out you have a great chance of it coming back the next day <clears throat> or the next day after that just remember you're not going to have a firearm so make sure you have means to defend yourself <laughs> to get before you get that firearm Fortunately, I look at it as a right delayed as a right denied, but who am I to say? I just have to follow the law like everybody else or I wouldn't be a law-abiding citizen, would I? So just remember, it's not the shop's fault. You know, it's everybody else that votes for 
gun laws. That's how I look at it. It's their fault. When people infringe on you, this is what happens. But it's not the gun owner shop. It's not their fault. So take your time. Be patient. Put the correct information so we can send it to them so they get the correct information and you might get lucky. I had a couple today that went boom like that. But the other four people, they weren't so lucky. So make sure that you're not a shit bag, that you put the correct information down. And if you do get delayed, find other means of self-defense, whether it be pepper spray, a knife, or nunchucks. Or, I know those are legal now in some states. So go find some of that shit. But other than that, come on, man. Wise up. Take a deep breath. You know, don't panic. And if you have a friend that has a gun, borrow it from them. As long as you're a law-abiding citizen. Me? Uh, I'd advise against that. So, you know, do what you got to do to defend yourself in these rough times. And you might get that delay over with and get that precious firearm in your hand. And I always tell people, this is what we're going to end on. Whatever gun you're going to buy, buy the ammunition for it, even if you do get delayed. I've seen a lot of that happen. People will get delayed. They'll have all their ammunition sitting on the counter. And they'll say, I'll buy it later. Go look at the shelves. Not a whole lot left to buy it later. So, my advice, if you do get delayed, buy the ammunition for it if it's available. That way, when you do get your gun, you'll have something to feed it and defend yourself with. I'd like to thank my old and my new subscribers. Just the people that zip through my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share your favorite gun content. Wait on those delays. Find something to protect yourself with. Buy a dog. Don't forget to adopt. There's tons of them in the shelters. Like always, catch you on the next one.